I love to say it smells so good I can literally drink it hi guys I'm Rachel if you're new or returning welcome and welcome back thank you so much for watching I do fragrance beauty and lifestyle I hope you stay to the end everything I speak about will be linked in the description box along with all my social media platforms I'd like to have you over there as well today I'm talking about perfumes perfect for dates day dates night dates solo dates which i'm in my solo date era i am single and i am loving it and i love taking myself out i've always been a person who loved to do things by myself anyway i just love spending time with myself getting to know myself better and smelling amazing while doing it so let's hop into these perfumes if you love florals like i do specifically tuberose and orange blossom then Armani My Way Intense is for you. I've tried all of the Armani My Way perfumes and I love them all. Armani really put their foot in with this entire line. It's amazing. I know some people do not like tuberose, but I promise you this is a very well balanced tuberose. It's sweet, sexy, feminine and elegant and the tuberose in here is what brings this balance to the sweetness of this, um, this perfume. So it opens up citrusy and then you get this bubblegum sweetness from the tuberose and then the sandalwood comes through in the dry down and gives it this creaminess. It's quite long lasting and has a moderate projection and sillage and it's a perfect for a day date or a night date depending on your settings. When I sampled this perfume I'm about to talk about, it was immediate yes for me. It was love at first sniff. I purchased it immediately. It's also one of my favorite flankers of the entire line from Carolina Herrera, a very good girl. I love this perfume so much. It's a fruity floral and it just does not bear the original DNA as the rest of the flankers. It's just very different in my opinion. It's a beautiful blend of lychee, red currant, and a rose lover dream, which I am a rose lover. I love florals. <laughs> It's bright and uplifting while still being sexy. It has a sweetness and a tartness that I love. It's like a sweet and sour vibe. I just, I love it. The rose, the lychee and the red currant stays throughout the wear of the perfume and you get this vanilla in the dry down. Longevity and sillage is moderate on it and it's a perfume that I also think is great for any time of the day on a date. But if you want to take it to another level, layer it with something that has oud and it will blow your mind. That's a tip for you and thank me later. I heard this perfume described as strawberry milkshake in a perfume form and they were right. Burberry Her Elixir. It's creamy and lactonic and sweet and the dominant notes for me in this perfume are the strawberry and the vanilla. But the vanilla is like a whipped cream. It's light and fluffy and airy. This just smells pink. Like the color of the bottle is perfect. It's very ladylike and for anyone who's in this soft life era. It has great longevity and it projects more than you realize. And it's the perfect perfume for a date but I might wear this on a solo date. This next perfume, I love to say it smells so good. I can literally drink it. Valentino Donna Born in Roma, the intense. Let me just say that I love all the Valentino perfumes. I feel like they do perfumes really, really well. The original to this is amazing as well. I just love them. Let me put that out there. It's a boozy vanilla and the jasmine in here, it's perfect. It's superb. It still bears the original DNA, but it's a stronger vanilla. There's amber, there's benzoin, and a lot less notes than the original as well. <sighs> This perfume is sexy and intoxicating. It's just amazing. You see how excited I get? I really love this perfume. It has great longevity, great sillage, and I always, always get asked what perfume I'm wearing whenever I wear this perfume. I've never worn this perfume and never get asked what I'm wearing. Um, it's also the perfume I wore for my birthday last year because it was released around the same time and it's a perfect perfumer for a date night. This perfume is always being compared to Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, which is a very popular perfume but there are differences. The price point for one and Tom Ford Lost Cherry, I feel like it's in the name. The cherry is lost within two hours. I mean, like I always say longevity is king for me. So the price point and the longevity is a no-no for me. Kaoli's Love Fest Burning Cherry. It's a dark, 
boozy smoky warm cherry the palo santo the tonka the fora just gives this cherry in this perfume a lot of depth it develops into a really nice complex scent and as it dries down you get this woody earthy and the sweetness from the cherries i won't lie it's a good alternative to tom Ford's lost cherry but if you're looking for something that's more budget friendly i mean why look any further the longevity and sillage on this is moderate and it makes a great date night perfume scent the kaoli perfumes layer really well within the line um, this will layer really well with invite only if you own that but if you don't and you own any tobacco scent like maybe jazz club by replica or something just tobacco-y it will layer really well and give this even more depth and more character and increase the longevity and the projection as well another tip thank me later another perfume that was love at first sniff for me when i first smelled this perfume it was engraved in my mind i couldn't get away from the scent it just really smells like a date in a bottle and i heard it smells very similar to Dior Hypnotic Poison. I haven't smelled that perfume, but I heard that. It's Juliet Has a Gun. Mmm. I mean, just look at the bottle and listen to the name. It really is, mmm. It is a date in a bottle. There's just something about this perfume that's just very nostalgic to me. It really does smell like a date in a bottle to me. But it takes me back to a time, and I could just picture my mom getting ready to go out and putting on her lipstick i don't know something about that just comes to my mind There's something about this perfume smells lipsticky and i think that is where the nostalgia is coming from for me it's a sweet fruity floral it's musky it's powdery there's vanilla there's caramel i definitely don't think this is a perfume for anyone you definitely need to sample it first i think one of the reasons why i'm getting this nostalgic thing is because it takes me back to a memory or something in my past so it could come off kind of dated but in a good way so you definitely need to sample this perfume first but it's just a perfect scent for a date night and the type of date where you're with your significant other not a first date perfume it's a perfume where you you know that person one and you can cozy up with them <laughs> so many people love this perfume and so many people hate this perfume but this is a repurchase for me so obviously i love it alien by Mugler. if you're someone who loves being complimented on your perfumes and love when people ask what are you wearing this is the perfume right here for you i love the jasmine and i'm beating a dead horse right now but it's no secret at this point that i love floral i find it very alluring and sensual and it's a unique scent in my opinion like i find it quite unique and it comes off kind of warm and woody on my skin as well however this is not a blind buy safe perfume in any way shape or form so please sample i would always advise you to sample your perfume regardless but this is definitely not a blind buy safe perfume you definitely need to sample this very a very long lasting and a perfect scent for a date night so there you have it date night scent the list short and sweet let me know if you own any of these perfumes and comment if you think i'm right if these perfumes are perfect for day dates night dates and solo dates and thank you so much for watching please subscribe and ring the bell so that you'll be notified whenever i upload a video everything i talk about will be listed in the description box along with all my other social media platforms i would love to have you over there as well so i'll see you in my next video which will be on sunday bye guys